man. What man. is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mitchell Saltzman. I am joined alongside Ronnie Barrier. Hello, Mitchell. And hello, Ronnie. And today we're going to be t uh, checking out Jacko. I actually really wanted to do this with Gold Lewis. I wanted to do a video of us playing uh, Guilty Gear with all the DLC characters, but I was I was out when when Gold Lewis came out. So sorry. I tried Ronnie. to do Gold Lewis, and Mitchell called me personally and said, "How dare you do this without me?" <laughs> and shut the whole true. project down. How dare you spread these these dirty lies? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, now we got Jacko. Uh, I'm playing as Jacko. Ronnie is playing as uh, Eno, and he is much better at Eno than I am with Jacko. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, Jacko's not really a character that I would normally play as, but I'm really enjoying her so far. She's fun, man. Oh boy. He, she is very interesting for sure. She's mainly a minion setup character, mm -hmm. um, which also isn't something that I'm usually used to, and it is. Uh, been interesting to deal with. Eno as well has gotten a few movement buffs, so I may yeah. be doing some funkiness here. So that's but, another uh, thing we should mention because uh, in addition to Jacko, we also got a patch that came out. And I realize this yep. might be a little loud, so I'm not. Oh boy! Ugh. Oof! See, I, I feel like Jacko has some really good Okizeme pressure but I've just not been able to figure out what it looks like. Um, yeah, you know, this, is, think... this is really early. The character's been out for, like, what, two, three hours at this point? So, yeah. you know, we're, I'm still kind of figuring stuff out. Um, definitely a character I want to learn more about, for sure, even if I don't end up using it over... Giovanna's my main, but uh, even if I don't end up using Jacko, I think I do kind of want to learn how, how she works, because she's kind of like... Uh, Zato in the way that, like, if you don't know how to deal with some of the stuff that, that she can do, she can be a problem. For sure. One thing I've noticed is that if there's just a few uh, unsafe moves you throw out, or a few punishable things that I don't jump on top of, you can get your minions out very quickly, mm -hmm. and that just makes life very difficult for me after that. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I think so. Oh, got it. <laughs> With a pixel and that's, left. That is, that is a command grab super, isn't it? Yeah. You oh, can't even block that's it. That's one of the best, one of the best win animations in the game. <laughs> Freaking Spider Girl. Covering the timer. Ooh. I gotta get used to like the hitbox of that kick to to be able to attack my minions. Oh. Oh, I am still not used to Eno's new um 5H. It now uh floats on a grounded hit, which just opens up new combo opportunities, but she is quite a bit different from how I used to play her, so I'm, I'm excited to see about these changes. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> no one expects the JK. <laughs> I'm just happy I got that, that second round. And did you get two command throw overdrives in there as well? Yeah, That's I a victory. It, Yeah, yeah. So we, what's your mankind, uh, knew. mankind knew what? <laughs> what's your opinion on um, Jacko as opposed to Gold Lewis in uh, terms I, of new DLC characters? I like her way more than I like Gold Lewis. Like aesthetically, I love Gold Lewis, but I just oh, man, and maybe he's changed in the patch. But I was not a fan of how he played. Yeah, he's he's been very strange. I There's too slow. There's been a few um like Damn. pretty easy looking touch of death combos. That I've seen online from Gold Lewis, uh, I know especially with the changes to his Skyfish, his minigun, um, you can link some things out of it if you're close enough. Mm -hmm. um, so those counter hit combos in the corner can be real deadly. But yeah, I don't know. His defense was always the problem, so I don't know how that's going to be fixed by the changes that they gave him. That goes far. Oi! Oh, 
you there? Oh! Get back up. There we go. Oh. I think that's enough. Oh, it certainly is. That move hurts. Got me in the Iron Maiden suplex. <laughs> uh, I'm also... She has a really good jump dust that I think is kind of crucial to her game plan, and I'm just not used to using jump dust all that much. Yeah. That was certainly an adjustment. Um, switching to Eno over from May, their jump dusts are very different, and Eno's are very important for her double overhead. This thing right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you're not used to it, it is—it's a strange button to be pressing in the air. Oh no! Oh, that was a bad burst. Oh, I was gonna catch you on the way down. Ah! Dang it, so she, I, so she I has the, the attack command there. That um, Iron Maiden suplex that you hit, kept hitting me with. Can you walk us through what that other super was that you just activated? Yeah. So the other super is basically. Well, I mean, I would have to double check the the full breakdown of it. But from what I know, it me it makes it so her her minions can't die for a short period of time. I think it buffs her damage, also. Oops. Um. But yeah, that's that's kind of one of the thing that you want to use when you have three minions out in the field and just you know make them persist and just put a ungodly amount of pressure on your opponent. Normally, her minions uh, they leave the field after just one hit, correct? I think it's two hits actually. I think it's it's two hits from Jacko for sure. I think one hit from your opponent is one hit from your though. opponent. I think. Okay. But I think you can get two hits from Jacko. Oh god, please let me out. No. If I'm letting you out of the corner, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> sure. Jump away! Ah, oh, dang it. I just wanted to get the air throw. This is a bad spot to be. Oh! I did not want to use that burst, but you forced my hand. That was a throw cancel from a man who has been throw cancel or thrown one too many times. <laughs> oh. Nice throw. And I think this could be it for me. Yeah, see, the thing I need to figure out with Jacko is what do I do when someone blocks? And how do I continue my pressure safely? Uh, uh, yeah, from what I've seen online, she, she has some trouble with combo enders. It's not really clear exactly um, what's safe and what's not right now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try one more. I just want to get one win, Ronnie. Just let me get one win. Ah! If I give it to you, Mitchell, you won't earn it. <laughs> that's not that's not a win that you want. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. Damn it! Let me get out of the corner first of all. <laughs> Run up throw. What are you, Amelia player? <laughs> uh, excuse me, that's a Kai and Ram Ramless all thing. <laughs> that's half the cast, to be fair. I just, I'm just so salty about Amelia. Oh.
Unfortunately, this is my first Guilty Gear game, so like I can't really comment on how Jacko feels compared to her, you know, the third version. Oh. I should really under I should really know that you're gonna go for that cross up because every single time you do that overdrive, you do that cross up. <laughs> hey, I until you block it, I'm gonna keep doing it. It's true. It's true. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is a look at Jacko in uh, Guilty Gear Strive. I'm going to switch to Giovanna and get some revenge on Ronnie. So, uh, but you all don't need to be privy to that. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And for more Guilty Gear Strive, keep it right here on IGN.